morning, good afternoon, good night guys. What is up, it's Jojo and we are back with another Disney vlog. And today I have an awesome story to share to you. And that's how I became a Disney vlogger, how I became a YouTube content creator in general, why I love doing what I'm doing and why I'm gonna keep doing this for a long, long time. Maybe even give you some tips. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead, and like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. We're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by the new year, and I think we can do it. So, all that being said, let's enjoy our day in Epcot. Have a nice story. Woo! making YouTube videos not because of Disney or the college program. I actually started making videos back in my hometown of the University of Scranton for counseling. I was working on self-confidence issues at the time and I really wanted to do something for myself because at the time I didn't really know how to do that. So that's when I decided to start making videos and my first vlog actually is when I voted for the first time. You can't watch it anymore but it's still there so yeah, that's kind of where my origins of how I started vlogging. I vlogged on my camera and that's when I decided to do one more thing for myself which was the best decision of my life to do the Disney College program. Hello Pooh Bear! Oh my gosh! You look awesome today! How are you doing? Did you catch anything today in that net of yours? Mm, nothing yet, nothing yet. I, I feel like I see... How do you catch stuff? Can you show me? Like what's your... What's your form? How do you do it? Oh, you're sneaking, okay. Oh, you're gonna get, okay. Looking for it. I think you see, it. ah! Did you get it? Oh, uh, ah. Uh. Next time, Pooh Bear. Oh wait, you see something else? Go for it. Oh, you got it! You caught it, Pooh Bear! <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh man. Hey, how about I'll get some honey next time and I can give that to you, okay? Sounds good? Awesome, good to see you, Pooh Bear. <laughs> That moment right there is one of the many reasons why I love still making content here in Disney World and being a vlogger. Uh -huh. Just creating those character interactions, especially during these hard times. I just feel like it really makes me feel like a kid again and I really hope at home it can make you guys smile because I know it sure does make me smile. I love Pooh Bear. The Disney College program was such a huge and pivotal moment in my life. I'll make a whole new video specifically talking about the Disney College program, but for now all you need to know is that going on the Disney College program allowed me to truly care and be myself and make friends who support me and want me to grow. Funny enough, I came here on the Disney College program when Epcot wasn't destroyed. But that brings up another good point. While some people see destruction and a lot of construction right now, I see progression and hope for the future. Exciting stories to tell down the road of everything new that's to come. You can see this whole main Epcot area is not available right now, but one day this will be built. And in the distance you can see Guardians of the Galaxy, a ride to be coming shortly in the next few years. Another thing to look forward to. That's the awesome thing about Disney. Things are always growing, changing, and honestly, innovating. So I'm excited for that. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe and turn on that notification so you can bear witness to all these amazing things with me in the future. especially in Disney World, is that it's opened my palate to so many new things, including food. Before I came down, I would have never even dared to try that. But now, 
I've opened my palette to so many new people, so many new customs, and so many new things. So another reason why I love Disney vlogging and another reason why I'm gonna keep doing it. So part of me coming down the Disney College program, I really enjoyed making those vlogs for myself, those personal vlogs. So I continued doing that down here. And that's how I started with my first ever Disney College program vlog. I'll actually leave it right here so you can go watch it. You can, you will be able to tell that I wasn't trying to do it professionally. I was just recording my life and just sharing it with my friends and family. And it truly became something more. Guys, another reason why I like being a content creator, Disney vlogging, is that I get to make so many new friends. I literally just walked up to them and started talking to them because they were taking cool pictures by Epcot. So. I'm always making new friends, always meeting new people. You know, Disney's huge, so people come from all over the place. And you guys are from St. Pete's, right? Yes. And they're having a little girls' trip. So we made a TikTok. So yeah, just another reason why I love doing what I do. Yeah. When you know the vibe, you know the vibe. Hey. <laughs> On my college program, I met many friends and continued to vlog all of my experiences. You can see most of them right now. And as I did that, I had a lot of fun, and I made a lot of friends, and I made a lot of magic as custodials, the people in white you see. And I truly loved that job each and every single day. I would work as custodial, come home, maybe you've changed in the park and start vlogging. Now, my first tip about vlogging is that I never did it for anything more than just to enjoy myself, have fun, and save memories. I never expected it would get to the point that it is today. And that's why I'm forever grateful for everyone who watches my videos, comments, likes, shares my videos. So that's my number one tip. Make sure you're having fun with it. As I continued to vlog and have fun with it, things just kept happening. New things would open. I remember when Hagrid's motorbike adventure in Universal opened up. So all these different things were just happening and I was just vlogging my experiences. So again, I was just having fun. I was also staying consistent. Speaking about consistency, right here Kyle Powell, he was one of my friends who actually vlogged as well for over a year daily. Kyle, one tip, one piece of advice for anyone who wants to start a YouTube channel in today's age. It doesn't have to be complicated. Hard work. Hard work, there you go. Another tip that I have to share right now is that make sure you surround yourself with people who support you. If you're gonna go to the parks, do whatever you do in your life and not have people who will be there for you, stop to make videos with you. Understand <laughs> your process. Sometimes I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> then it's not gonna work out. Kyle was one of my good friends who really pushed me and motivated me to keep making my vlogs even on days when they weren't doing too well. Just keep doing it. Facts, seriously, just keep growing and like I said, if you're having fun with it, that's all that matters. And then honestly, the rest is history. Now, I still make videos and sometimes they don't do as well as I would like, but overall I still really enjoy making them. And that, hello. And I still like making them. It makes me happy. I create a community. I create friends. I create happiness for you guys at home. At the end of the day, if I could affect one of your lives and make your day better, it's amazing and that's all I could ask for. Let's see what he's cooking up for you. Bonsoir and welcome to Paris, the city of light. <laughs> And another look at the new Guardians of the Galaxy ride that's coming out in the future. One of the main reasons I love being a Disney vlogger is that it inspires hope. Not only to me, but everyone watching, everyone hoping for a better future. Disney vlogging, vlogging in general keeps me alive. It motivates me to get up every day. So I sincerely, sincerely appreciate you guys so much. I am a Disney vlogger. I am a YouTube content creator. I love making videos to make you guys smile. And I just love doing this. So I'm gonna keep doing this. Now, the best thing about Disney vlogging is actually enjoying Disney. I'm gonna go spend the rest of my time here without the camera and I'll wrap up this video at home. See you soon, guys. Hey guys, I am back home. I showered, I changed. Um, Overall, again, I just want to say thank you to everyone who supports me on YouTube. 
It's been an amazing journey and it's nowhere close to being over. But that's basically the summary of how I started vlogging. Do what makes you happy. If you have fun vlogging, if you want to start a YouTube channel, go for it. But remember, just do it for the right reasons because there's going to be high days when you, you know, you feel like you're on top of the world and then there's going to be days when you know, you're like, should I keep doing this? You're going to second guess yourself. And all I have to say to that is don't second guess yourself. Do it if you have the passion for it. All it takes is one yes, like one success. Like, don't stop. Have fun and treat people nice on the way. <laughs> but all right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. And remember, every day is a blessed day to be alive. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.